Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Paparazzi Poe, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? Listen, either you tapped in or you tapped out, man. That's Paparazzi right. plus Poe, aka hundred thousand dollar girl, no jail, hundred thousand dollar watch this watch. Absolutely, absolutely. What's the word? Man, I'm chilling. Good to be back. Good to be back. Uh part two. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to tell people we I know we got another interview in the tuck. We're yeah. gonna drop it on them, you know. We're going to drop it on them randomly. You know what I'm saying? But um, today I got you up here. You know what I'm saying? First, I want to say uh, how you doing? How's everything been going with you? And um, what's paparazzi po what does paparazzi po got in store for the people? All right. So how I'm doing? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Um, my G-Day just passed, you know. It's yeah. cooling for me. Um, good looking. Um. Yeah, so far, so good. Like, on a business tip, you know, I can't really speak too much about what I got going on, but just know I got a new situation going on. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's some real promising things yeah. my way. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want to get it first, you know, and then flex up for you real quick on, on P Films. There we go. Um, That's what's up. I got this new merch. Shipment that just came in, you know what I'm saying? One third of greatness apparel. You know, I'm gonna send you yours. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of colors, I got a couple of beanies for the ladies too. Um, just to say the least, you know. Um, my gaming channel, Ultra G Gaming, is busting a little bit. You know, I ain't do like the um, the full live stream joint yet, like with my like with me on the screen yet, but like I just been. Streaming off that page, you know what I'm saying? It's doing fairly well. Um, what else I got going on? You got the uh, yeah. politicking, politicking with paparazzi. Pop, yeah, politics. politicking with paparazzi is still in the works. Yeah. Um, that's my podcast. Um, at, right now I'm just giving y'all stories. Um, yeah. I'm I mean, eventually have it set up like an actual podcast. Yeah, that's why I got like a separate channel for that. You only go subscribe to that. Y'all could, if not, you want to see the videos that I did already. Um, subscribe to my regular channel, Paparazzi Po, and um, you can see all the stories that I told so far, as well as um, promotion videos, etc., etc. Um, gotcha. I just got, I got, I got signed as Fybj Mains. Um, road manager and hit yeah. different management. All right, hold on. We gotta talk about that. Situation too. We gotta That's talk about a new situation on top of the other situation I can't talk about. Oh, but <laughs> one thing because I'm I'm watching as FYBJ man, he's doing an interview. Well, say cheese is running his interview right now. Um yeah. and he's basically saying that South CTs, yeah, word South CTs is happening. Adam 22, you need to tap in. Vlad, you need to tap in. We're trying to save these kids, man. It's the gangsters that's doing it. So y'all gotta know it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got so much other things we could be doing. Yeah. Right now we are just trying to like stop the violence. Like I spoke to you off the air. I've been trying in New York for a little minute now. Um, so I'm happy to have like a team behind us that's seriously, you know. Gonna give us what we need to 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 attempt to get it done. Yeah, you know everybody want to know is this real? Like because some people in their end is saying no, but FYBJ Main is saying yes. All right, I so look, right? Oh, FYBJ Main and OTFJ Main is two different people. Let me okay. tell you why, right? <laughs> OTFJ Main is. FYBJ mean pushing peace. You know okay. what I'm saying? OTF banner <coughs> comes from <coughs> Dirk funding the situation. I'm not sure if you peak game, but did you see like 
the blogs lately showing that Dirk is leading to stop the violence thing? Um, I mean, I mean, for a while I've heard him saying like, "Oh, he's gonna try to not." Do no, it. he says he is doing it now. Okay, okay. He All is right. doing. It. He basically he co-signed everything Jay May said. So, you know, like as much as people don't want to believe it, and people think. It's funny because he's a funny guy, but the way he's delivering the message is all that matters, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a real situation. That Save the Kids is definitely a real situation. Yeah. Is it, do you feel like, do you feel like people have, because you see how in New York, there's so many people that go at it and they won't even get on a song with somebody who they got beef with, this, somebody this, they dead, they not jumping on a song with them. To, so to see him, signed to OTF, you know, does that put him in a bad light or you in a bad light since these are like, I guess, biggest ops, you know what I mean? Well, with that, right, it's like this, right? So, how can I put this? All right, so, um, putting us in a bad light is kind of like, like, I don't think I, I wouldn't agree that it's putting us in a bad light because we're doing it for a great reason. Yeah. So um I don't think there's nothing bad that can come from this. I think like I think like anybody who wants to change in life has to go through people being mad that you want to change. Like people are gonna be mad that you want to change. Like you've seen all the movies, colors. When 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 the, when my man got out of jail and he wanted to change his life, Uncle Ray Ray still was doing what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since the beginning of time, it's always gonna be people who's gonna oppress you for trying to do the right thing, but follow you when you're doing the wrong thing, which just never made sense to me. But yeah, it's life. Could you see yourself? Sign into one of your bis biggest ops if they came with a bag and to send a message. Well, I risk the label. Yeah. Like what I signed to Hybris the label to, to stop the violence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that, bro. <laughs> I'll take over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I take over that shit. What? Them niggas need me over there, you heard? <laughs> I'll take that shit right the fuck over, you heard? I'm dead. I'm dead. So does the do you guys have any contact with Dirk or y'all speak to like what is that like? I I didn't speak, I, I didn't speak to Dirk, he did. <clears throat> I'm just his manager, you know. I don't got nothing to talk to Dirk about, you know what I'm saying? Unless unless he wanna um unless he want to holler at me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, gotcha. I don't got nothing to speak to Dirk about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate him for appreciating us and <laughs> doing what he's supposed to do to make sure we can do what we need to do. You know, it's business. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody got some shit going on, and. You know, it can't look nothing but good for niggas, especially niggas fighting cases and yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time for niggas to really, you know, niggas made enough money pushing war, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas, now niggas can make some money. Pushing you know? Me personally, I wanted to go back to the black parties, the backyard parties, you know, the parades. Yeah. I wanted to go back to that. I want, I want like, the killing and stuff to be minimized to the point where it's like somebody crossed you in a drastic measure and you had to do what you got to do or your life is in danger, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't see a right or wrong reason to kill, but like, you know, I know it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? This is a, like, doggy dog world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm but let it be. Most, more so let it be for like something that is serious. Like a more serious matter. Yeah, like, you gotta be like, you know? Yeah. You know? Like, come on, bro. That's a life. You know, you can't get that back. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a you fact. Can't get that back. Yeah. I know you've seen um a couple of weeks ago I had released an interview with Charlie Rock. 
You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people was talking about it. You actually came Charlie, out. You said who? You talking about Charlie the Clown Cologne? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but but yeah. Charlie it, the Clown Cologne. I guess nigga with the biggest boots out the crew. Had some nerve. Yeah, I heard about the interview. Uh, he got so, the biggest boots out the crew. I don't know why he even he got the biggest boots out the crew. Like what you mean by that? What you mean? Bro, where do I start? What's 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 not clown shit? His case is some clown shit. Him his situation with French is some clown shit. I mean like, what, what 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 him signing with Jim after beefing with French is some clown shit. Like what's what, like I only can speak on stuff I know, you know. I don't really know something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, don't say that, Paul. Don't you don't say no, that. Bro. Don't listen, say it, bro, bro, like that. Come on. Listen, bro, let me listen to you. Look. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna break it down to you with this, right? I'm 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 gonna elaborate a little bit more on why I'm saying that, right? Okay, okay. All right, so I met Charlie Rob maybe 2004. Gotcha. Maybe. And I'm pushing them maybe because, like, I think I seen them walk past while he was on the home visit, while I was outside. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't really communicate with the niggas. Like, I wasn't really, 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 like, like, really too knit tight with everybody in Patterson. You know, yeah. I was over there for my, what I was supposed to be there for. You get it? Yeah. So, I'm going to say maybe... Maybe the winter of 2004, I met Rock. Yeah. Now, when I started hanging with Rock, was not until after my man, rest in peace, Ripper passed away in February 05. So I got locked up in October 05. Yeah. So how long I knew Charlie? Roughly. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. That's how long I knew Charlie Rock because when we went to prison, we was together on the island for a little while, but then he went to the feds or he went home and then came back and went to the feds. I went up north for years, nigga. Like, when I came home, I seen that nigga a couple of times, yeah. but that nigga was on the road with French, like, you feel me? I was with Blue Da Vinci and, 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 and fucking... Dunkers with Waka and them and Frenchie and Chaffee, you feel me? Like, we were split up. Like, we wasn't together. You see me in the Shot Cola video? No. We wasn't around each other. So it's like, I knew this kid for a couple of months of my life and he's talking in the interview like he grew up with me. Like, like yeah. nigga, you ain't grew up with me, bro. You only know my moms because you cap like you did some high shit in the Hague and you was lying and you... Basically, he was home on a home visit, right? To say the least, right? He was home on a home visit. He got into a verbal altercation with an older nigga from my haven. And he claimed it got nasty, but son called my phone like maybe an hour or two after it's supposed to have got nasty looking for rock. So it's like, how nasty did it get? And then boy said basically like, I'm like, yo, boy, you good? Like you calling me from a hospital bed? Like, he like, what? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Like, yeah. so we look at Rock like, bro, I thought you said you got busy. He like, nah, I was trying to get busy. Like, clown shit. So you just went on a run and now you staying at my crib because you had an argument with a nigga? <laughs> clown shit. This is what I'm saying. I caught my case because of clown shit. Because Rock wanted to be on my block acting like he could do whatever he want. We living in Seacore, you feel me? My mom just moved there. I'm situated there. Yeah. I got that shit sold up. At least two buildings out before, I got it sold up. I tell him, the little stupid nigga to come stay with me, stay with me, because he capped about that situation. So I tucked him in, you feel me? Yo, know, my, ah, uh, ah, uh, bro, for me, ah, uh, ah. Uh. My mama blood, yeah, he good. I right, sanction, he with us. He going outside, trying to do whatever he need to do to survive, you feel me, to say the least. Yeah. 
Niggas wasn't jacking him doing none of that. You feel me? Niggas, I, I got up with him, put their hands on him. You feel me? I had to take care of that situation. Yeah. That's how I caught my case. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, son can't do his business? Niggas got up with him. He ain't handle his business. I had to handle my business. He was yeah. with me, though, and it was his situation. So it's like, okay. What, what, like, so to sum up the whole situation, I caught my case in August. I started hanging with Boy in February. Yeah. When I, I, I was on a run from August to October, I wasn't around Boy. Yeah. He said he was at my family crib in Jefferson Projects, right? Yeah. All right. What grandmother I got that live in Jefferson? I wish it was, I wish this was a live feed because I'm from anybody that really knows me knows my mom's is from Johnson. My pops is from East River, Wilson, down that way. So if he was in East River and Wilson at my grandmother house, technically he was at Alpo mother house, right? But he said my pops is a crackhead from Jefferson. Yeah, he was saying like, oh, he... I served crackheads in Jefferson. It wasn't... I didn't even have a, a, a crackhead stepfather in Jefferson. Yeah. I didn't have a stepfather in Jefferson. Who Who is he saying that he thought, or I guess assume was your fault? Like, who's... I don't know what Rock is talking about. Rock barely knows my mom. Oh, Okay. You've been to my crib a couple of times. You stayed with me for a couple of weeks. It got nasty. We were separated again. How much do you really know me? Yeah. The way he's talking is like, we went to elementary school together, sandbox. Our mothers know each other. Mothers, like, my moms don't know his moms. Yeah. My pops don't know his pops. Mm -hmm. My step pops don't know his pops. Yeah. None of my mother baby fathers knows his pops. And my baby mother, I mean, my moms don't know his moms. Yeah. So how well do you know me? I don't even know if you from Patterson or Edenwall. I won't get up here and cap like, oh, yeah, I know Charlie Rock. I don't know where he's from because he always get dropped off in Edenwall, but he claimed Patterson. Come on, Paul. What you mean? What? What? He, <laughs> lived, he lived on Pelham. He lived on Edenwall. <laughs> he, he, you know, sometimes he was at his grandmother's house in Patterson. His mother lived on the other side of Patterson, but Rock was in the group home. Rock didn't. Rock didn't have a home at the time we was around each other. Rock is coming home for visits. Yeah. So where do you live? I don't even know where you live at. I found out when the niggas got upside his head that he was from Edenwall. I didn't know he was from fucking Edenwall. Mm. I'm looking at them like y'all bugging my man from Patterson. They nah, look it up, nigga from Eden Wall. I'm like, huh? Yeah, nigga, you from Eden Wall? No, I got an aunt or some some shit over there. You got family over there? I don't know. I don't know, boy, like that. For him to even be talking, what, what elementary school I went to, Rock? What junior high school I went to? You you don't know me? Where you know me from? You met me through Judah and them. Could it be like you know sometimes? Even though it's a small period of time that people uh, are around one another for, they might have done certain things that make them feel a little bit closer. What, what, what did he do? He keeps talking about, we did real street shit together. What? We had a bunch of fights with niggas that y'all had beef with? Yeah. What? <laughs> the Batanzas niggas chased you. You came back to the block. We bumped into them niggas on 3rd Avenue. You fought the Mighty Joe nigga one on one. You spanked them. All right. Um, we bumped into the Trey Side niggas. You fought. Um, I forgot who you fought from Trey Side, but you spanked him. I ain't gonna cap. He spanked son. I don't know what happened with the other nigga. I think. I don't know. I think it was Streets Harry. I don't know. I forgot how that shit went, but I know Rock's fake spanked two niggas since I know him. Besides one of the bros from the block who Tifi knocked out. But I'm not gonna say his name, you feel me? Cause I fuck with him like. But like, what's the real shit we did together? What we ran down on a nigga, you backed the nigga down, forgot the cock it, and son got away. Like that's that's street shit. Like, what real shit we did together? The only real shit you ever did with me is my case. And you was there. 
Yeah. So again, tell me how you know me. We didn't do a bed together as kids. We wasn't bunkies. When we was on the island, we was in the same crib maybe for a week or two. Maybe we was in the school floor in the same class for a week. Then he said some sucker shit. What he said? I did. They told me do a story about my life and I act like I was rich for the nephew. Yeah, that's what he said, right? Listen yeah. to that. You hear how stupid that sound? He said, "Hold on," but listen to what he said. I act like I was rich for the nephew, but rich for the nephew's dead. So how could I even have done that? That don't even make sense. Yeah. Rich Porter nephew died after his finger got chopped off. So how could I do a presentation and act like I'm Rich Porter's nephew yeah. when Rich Porter, I mean, Rich Porter's little brother, when his little brother's dead? I think he was trying, I, I'm assuming he was trying to say, like, you took part of that story to implement it into your life or whatever the, the class project was at that time while y'all was away. But <laughs> Yo, bro, so let me ask you this, right? Yeah. If I'm, if I'm this super duper clown ass nigga, why am I so legendary? Why I hold way more weight than him? Why he's a failure and I'm successful? Yeah. How did how did how did he make the bad decisions when he was supposed to be in the star? Because he talking like he was the star, like. He talking like he know me. He said I used to finesse bitches. Finesse the bitches for what? What, what was it to finesse a girl for at 15, 16 years old? What was, what was we finessing? They, them out they pussy? How was I doing that? It seemed like he just had something to say about everything. He said I used to finesse the bitches. No, I don't, said, I don't, but but Poe, I don't think that was a bad thing. Like He was probably trying to say like you had game. Like nah, you, know, you knew how nah. to talk. You think it was like a shot at you with that? The thing he said was a shot at me. And even when he said sorry, it still was a shot. Yeah. Even when he called my phone after that. So y'all had spoke that. Y'all spoke yes. after that. Okay. Yes. Niggas called, me talking about, yo, niggas called me talking about yo, what we gonna do? We gonna keep doing this internet shit. Nigga, you started the internet shit. Yeah. So you want me to not respond to you? Why? <laughs> Why I got to sit back and keep letting y'all niggas step on me? Y'all niggas been stepping on me since back in the days. The same energy you got in this interview is the same energy you was giving niggas in the streets. And that's why the streets is, is spooky the way it is. Yeah. You, you're talking about you mad at me because... Oh, imagine doing real street shit with a nigga and then find out he's saying Alpo is his father. Yeah. But wasn't you the same nigga who called my man Juta a rat and then you hugged him when niggas almost smoked you, you bitch ass nigga? And you went back and hung with the nigga you called the rat for years after that? Yeah. What's the difference? All I'm doing is defending my pops on the internet. And sometimes in person, if a situation comes across me, yeah. you, you literally ran with and hugged him, the person that you're talking down on, the people that you're talking down on. You came home in 2007, Jack, and my man was a rat. Why is this pictures of you at my baby shower in 2011, 2012 with the same man? Why is this man in both shot caller videos? The one you wasn't even in, and the one you in. Yeah. It's the nigga who you talking down on. How dare you talk down on the nigga that made you? The nigga that let you pretend like you was a tough guy all this time. How, how do you talk down on these members <clears throat> that made you? Yeah. You wasn't always Charlie Rock. You became Charlie Rock because you know how to fight. You not Charlie Rock because you was out here smoking shit. Nigga, they, what, he got locked up for cutting somebody with a machete? What are you? Mexican Mafia, nigga? We young gunners, nigga. Everybody I know, we locked up for shooting shit, nigga. Yeah. He didn't get locked up for that. He never got locked up for that. The fuck is he talking about? He been out the loop, 07. When he started talking down on bro, he was out the loop. 
Yeah. That's why when he was bumping in the niggas and niggas was saying they was X, Y, or Z and he wasn't jacking it because he don't know because he was out the loop. You got back in the loop when niggas try to smoke you and you went and, and, ate, you, and ate you the dick up. Fuck you talking about? You made it hard for him to come in and out just to see his kids. He got to in and out and leave. Nigga, you ain't got it like that. Rock don't got it like that. This ain't five lower, nigga. The only time you ever ran anything was five lower, nigga, in Rikers Island. You never ran no jails. We never heard of Charlie Rock taking over no jails. We never heard of Charlie Rock taking over no Fed buildings. We had Charlie Rock quiet as a church mouse, sliding through his bids, coming home. We don't hear Charlie Rock shooting nothing or getting shot. The only time I remember him getting shot was by... The crypt nigga shells on the island when Rock stole his sneakers. Yeah. Like, I don't get it why he up here talking like he's a big shot. You a nigga who, who we let cap, nigga. We let you cap like you was a Uda. You was never a Uda. You know, you something. Was never a I don't know nobody who got no federal shit, bro. I don't know nobody that got shot by Charlie Rock, bro. Yeah. I don't know now. One nigga walking around like, yeah, yeah, I heard. I think Charlie Rock shot me. No, bro, that's not what you do. So you you was been not a young gun. You came back under us for protection. You been left. Remember in 1090, you dropped the G and went your own way. And then you couldn't stand, nigga. So you came back under Drew the Wing, the same nigga you was bad mouthing, the same nigga you still bad mouthing to this day. How dare you? He saved your life numerous times. He took care of your bum ass in jail. Your family don't be taking care of you like that. Once in the blue, yeah, they do their thing for me, his sister, his pops, you feel me? Once once in the blue, they do their thing. But, bro, Tay Moms, Juta Pops took care of you, bro, the whole time you was around us, brother. You know how you talk down on niggas like that. That's shit crazy how you doing that. Yeah, you you bringing up Juta, one of the, like, like you said, in one of the parts he said that. that I used to wear his clothes. What clothes Charlie had? He was on a home visit. What clothes he had? The clothes Neef gave you? The clothes Jutha gave you? The clothes Tay gave you? You going in Tay closet while he in jail? Why he not talking about the real shit? Yeah. How you wore Dante clothes your whole life till you got a lawsuit? Niggas taking care of you from jail. Charlie? He got Tay mom's Name tatted on him because she was taking care of him in jail, bro. In jail, bro. You talking down on niggas that made you, bro. Poe made you. Poe threw you in front of a camera and told you to rap. Poe threw you the tight pair of seven jeans and told you, throw those on with the Maury's. The bitch is going to fuck with you. Take off the chair, put it in the visuals. Yeah. These niggas was champion co-head six. It's ex hoodies with Pele's wearing niggas. I bring the Mermots and the Seven Jeans and the Pradas and all that to this YG shit. Yeah. I was the nigga with the tight pants from Harlem. Anybody you know that was locked up with me or grew up with me gonna tell you, Poe pants been tight since forever. <laughs> Poe had them tight pants since forever. Poe been fly since when, forever. Yeah. Wearing your clothes? What you, what you had there, Rock? What you had at the crib? Tell me, I'm gonna send it to you in jail, you bum ass nigga. Like, you never left nothing in my crib, gang. Like, you, what, what, what we wore that balloon to you, Charlie? Come on, bro. You didn't even have clothes. You didn't even have. You wasn't home fully to even have clothes. Like, you was on a home visit, brother. Like, you was doing the same shit every day. Yeah. Nigga was saying mad shit, but bad, bro. You said yeah. something about Jupiter. Yeah, you know. A part that so many people was like shocked about or talking about was when he said that I think he said in 05, I um Jutha told on two flatte. And you know, that part that part shocked me <clears throat> and it shocked a lot of people. But you know, everybody was just like, yo, you need to you need to confirm that. You need to confirm that. So, you know, what what was that about? All right, so I'm not the code on that case, so I can't tell you who told on that case. But yeah. what I can tell you and what I can show you is Tay and Jupiter together after that. Yeah. I can show you pictures of me and Tay at Jupiter Graveside. 
예. 이거 예. allegedly chasing the feds for avenging Juta's death. That's what they say in the articles, right? Retaliation, a string of retaliation, shootings due to the death of Juta Perez, right? Yeah. All right, so what are we talking about right now? Yeah. Charlie's just in jail smoking K2, and he he finally got it some shine, and that nigga was shined like a motherfucker, bro. I know he lit up a, a fat blunt of K2, and he was waiting for them questions. And he kept hearing my name, and that shit was fucking his head up. Like, damn, what is this, man? He, nigga, nigga, bro, that's what the nigga told me. We could be friends if I changed my name. So you, we was in the same gang when we was little. We slept in the same cribs together. We fucked bitches together, right? We did gangster shit, according to what you say, together. Yeah. But you ain't, but, oh, hold on, hold on. You never told me to change my name then, right? No. Then he say he gave me that name. See, so why so why is my name such a problem if you gave it to me? You picked according to Charlie the Clown Cologne, he picked that name for me. <laughs> I think he's told a story like y'all was in a I think a chicken spot, a deli, or somewhere. <laughs> we all was hot. By the police, I'm on a run. He's on a run. A couple of the bro bros is on the run, right? Everybody hot. Everybody, you know, this when we got the bleep phones and all that. Everybody need code names. What we doing? We all doing young names. All right, we all doing young names. Now, out of all of the nicknames that we all had, right? My nickname, I had Babyface Gangsta. I had the Young Gunner, I had the Ram Man, I had all these names. And it's like, which name we gonna run with that people don't really know yet? Like, that's not a hot name. All right, fuck it, we gonna go with Young Poe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro, take off your hat. Yeah, you kind of look like that nigga too, funny looking nigga. Key, 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 key. That was it. <laughs> not, not I'm standing there like like it's a fucking show show on 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 Zeus and he's picking my name out for me like like I'm a contestant. No nigga, no nigga, it wasn't like that, nigga. You don't got it like that, nigga. Why you acting like you got it like that? You don't got it like that. You never had it like that. That's why you left. You was mad because other niggas was shining more than you. That's why you left. Yeah. That's why niggas wanted to go their own way. Niggas was mad because I was jacking my son Juta and I was pushing this shit forward while everybody else turned blood. Yeah. You blood, nigga. Why you worrying about this YG shit? Why was you home running down and G checking niggas and even meeting niggas that saying they the big this or the big that when you ain't wasn't that no more? You yeah. been out, nigga. When you rode with Joe Light, you was out. You was been out, bro. Like, so how are you even speaking on anything? You can't even, he can't even speak on YG business from, from 07 up until, you know, whenever niggas got grew, grew, out, grew out of that shit. Yeah. He can't speak on it. He wasn't a part of it. 1090 G's ain't a YG set, nigga. That's not a YG set, nigga. Yeah. 1090 YG was. Gotcha. But not 1090 G's, not that shit he was. Yeah. When he was piecing niggas and dropping it, and if they did it with him, he they pussy. That was him rebelling against us, bro. That's him punching mad random niggas in the face in the street while we in jail. Yeah. Like mad at us in jail, and you outside punching niggas in the face, like. <laughs> I don't get it why this nigga think he's you're big. Your name is big because you have a record with French Montana. That's why your name is big. Your name is not big because you did some big bad gangster shit, brother. Because if you was doing all that big bad gangster shit, bro, niggas would have knew that, bro. Nobody knew that. Nobody never got shot by Charlie Rob. Nobody ever no nobody's not really scared of him outside of his hand skills or him hitting hard. Like, and all of that came later. 
Yeah. Like that was built up. Like niggas that had boxing matches in the hood with the gloves and rock got his ass whooped for him. Like it's just shit like that. It's just like, damn, bro, how you forgot about that though? Before you open up your mouth and call me a, 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 a fraud, why I'm a fraud? Because we still hung out with French Montana after you burnt t-shirts. You punched a couple of niggas in the face, bro. You ain't, you, we're not going to war because you punched a couple of niggas in the face, bro. Yeah. Grown ass men need to fight for yourself and keep it pushing. We're not going to declare war because Charlie's an idiot and thinks he's entitled to money that he was not entitled to. Yeah. We know the business. We was home. We was looking into that shit. We were serious. We knew what he was entitled to getting. He was ungrateful. He had like five different niggas putting money behind him, bro. And he still was bitching. Arguing with his baby moms, leaving shows, all types of shit. Leaving tour, doing clown shit, bro. I don't get it. Like, what are we doing here? We praising the nigga who just does clown shit? Talk, talk down on your mans? That's what you doing. You talking down on your mans. Your first interview in 10 years, you talking down on your mans. Your whole interview, you talking down on your mans. His interview don't got no substance. All he doing is talking shit about niggas. You take that out the interview, what was y'all talking about? But you know, I, I gotta say, like, if he's in he is in come on, be honest, he's entitled to feel how he feels. You feel me? Like if why do you feel this way, Rock? We 30 now. We 30 years old. You hung out with me for a couple of months in your life. You thought I wasn't going to blow up big. I blew up bigger than you. Every time you roll over, I'm on the cover of the magazine. Every time you get on the gate, niggas talking about me. You mad, bro. You, you, you failed. Nigga, you failed. You decided to do whatever dumb shit or didn't do whatever dumb shit that got you in there. Like I said, I can't speak on the man case. Yeah, yeah. I was there and I'm not as cold deep. I know it's some dumb shit, though. I bet you it's some real dumb shit. I bet you if I look it up, it's some dumb shit. It's some clown shit. Some doja clown shit. I bet you. Guarantee you it's some clown shit. This yeah. nigga got the nerve to speak on me, calling my mother name. Like, you know my mother. You don't know my mom's nigga. You don't know my mom's nigga. Because if you knew my mom's and you respected my mom's, when you bumped into my little brother in court and you said that pedophile shit about my sister, you should have thought about my mom when you said that. See, niggas don't want to talk about the real shit. What did, what did he, I didn't, that I didn't hear about. What did he say about your sister? Oh, he told my little brother, yeah, your little sister starting look, looking, getting older, like on some, like she starting to look good type shit. Mind you, my little sister is mad younger than niggas by at least five years. You feel me? Him and my brother almost got into it over that shit, you feel me? But they ain't caught. So it's like, you know, Rock talking how he talking and my brother talking how he talking. And, you know, yeah. by the reasons of God, it didn't go down and my little brother got locked up. But, like, it's shit like that, the reason why I don't fuck with boy, like, you know? Like, I had to really sit down and think about that shit. Like, it was a couple of different sucker shit he did that made me just be like, wash my hands with boy, like, that nigga self-destructed on his own. Like, that nigga can't blame nobody for why he in his situation. So why are you in the cell woofing, talking about I'm some type of fraud? Like, nigga, I ain't give you validation. Like, I ain't take you to Harlem. That's the reason why Harlem saved your life. So I saved your life. Yeah. You know, I, I, Harlem, me. Yeah. I, 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 I took you away in East River with my peoples. I saved your life, nigga. Yeah. You wouldn't know these niggas that you shouting out and all these niggas that's probably holding you down right now if I didn't save your life, nigga. You was beefing with an older nigga from Treyside that was like that, and he was on your heels. That's why you didn't want to be in the Bronx. But you're not talking about that. You're talking about my name being the Ram Man because Bogus used to chase me. No. My name was the Ram Man because my name is Randy. <laughs> like what the fuck like <laughs> my name is Ram man cause Bogus used to chase me who wasn't gonna run from a nigga shooting at them yeah uh, was I not supposed to run yeah I can tell you a million times 
he got chased through the projects because I was with him. Yeah. He wasn't trying to bust back. He wasn't the nigga returning fire. When that Hummer used to come through Patterson, niggas know when I say that Hummer, I don't got to say too much. But when that black Hummer used to spin through Patterson, there was only a chosen few niggas out there extending their arm, bro. And he wasn't one of them. Yeah. Trace side niggas come down the hill and, <laughs> and surround niggas from both sides, nigga. He wasn't, he wasn't the Uda. They wasn't worried about him. Why do you think they let him hang over there when he came home? <coughs> he came home. <coughs> he came home. <coughs> and was hanging on Trey Sauer. Yeah. After the beef is full blown, he kind of out of jail and went and hung with them. They won't even if you was a, if you was a, if you was one of the niggas applying pressure, they wouldn't let you hang there, nigga. Yeah. Unless you got somebody's sister pregnant or something. For me. Yeah, yeah. You know, I asked him this, so I gotta ask you this too. It's like <laughs> you see, like, like you said, he did call you and apologize or whatever the case may be. Could y'all see yourself? To where make it making I guess making amends. You know what I mean? I think we did that. I think we both said how we felt. He he said what he said on the phone. He asked me the questions that you asked him, like Poe, like why well, didn't I know anything about this? Da, 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 da. Like I'm not gonna co-sign that. Like I don't want that on my jacket. Like I'm not gonna co-sign that. So that's why I did how I did it. I'm not gonna co-sign that that shit pops because I don't even want to be affiliated with him. I really want you to stop calling yourself that. Yeah. So I, I made a joke, like, so rock. So if I change my name, then I put my phone on and we good. Like, right back to old days. He's like, yeah. Say hi, right, nigga. Suck a dick, nigga. You want me to change my name because my name is bigger than yours. You bad. Your whole interview was about me, nigga. Like, it ain't my, my fault. You don't got nothing else to talk about. The fuck you been doing since you been locked up? Nothing. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Why are you mad at me? Because nigga asked you about me and because we supposed to have grew up together. So you mad because the nigga asked you about me? You panicking? He panicked for no reason. If he had told the truth about something, I would have never even responded. But the nigga just started off lying. Even when he told the truth, he still kind of like bent it to make himself look like he's like, Bro, Charlie Rock is not one of those niggas, bro. Like, the bitches don't love him. Like, he not, like, I ain't even going to get into why niggas be mad at me, bro. But just know it be it be girls, bro. Like, just know, bro, like, I might have slid in the wrong bitch DM or something. And that nigga is ready to kill herself. Gangsta. Yeah, man. Well, I'm, I'm a, you know, hopefully... You know what I'm saying? Things will get better with y'all. I know, uh, I know recently you also went, you also uh was in a party with somebody. A lot of people think that, you know, you don't really talk to anymore. But I seen you, I seen you post a couple things in a party in a Cardi B's party. Yeah, I was at his birthday party. Yeah. What was that like? Um, it was it was it was it's a little bit different from what it used to be like, like, cause it was like it was like, it's like a different level now, you know? Like, yeah. she had a different level now. So it's like, um, it was different. It was different. It was one of those parties that it was so lit that it was people there I didn't even see. Like, I was finding out. Like the next day, like, oh, this person was at the party. That person was at the party. Like, somebody yeah. said, little TJ was at the party. I ain't see him. Like, some one of the fans, like, they wrote under my video of me at the party. Like, oh, how you was in the same party with TJ and nothing happened? Y'all niggas is pussy. And I'm like, oh, wow. I see TJ. I probably was with Ice Spice. I seen Ice Spice. I, I ain't looking at no niggas. I was looking at the bitches, man. Like, <laughs> Ice Spice is in there Glorilla was in there yeah. Duke was a lot of joints in there I'm in there trying to let them see me Like you know I'm here Enjoy it Big bright big hoodie on for me Good, <laughs> good, mics, good mics for me Big Cuban What's up I'm back I'm on the scene 
Yeah. I passed the flying colors. I think it was a good experience. Yeah. Oh, you saying that like um people saying little TJ was there. That first of all, that's crazy. To me. <coughs> huh? I said you saying like you know people saying little TJ was there. I'm like, damn, that's pretty crazy. Cause just oh. to, I, I let me ask this. Since you just got cool with well, I let me not say just got cool with her. Um, but y'all cool, and you seen y'all on a bigger. It's a bigger party. She's on a different level. If you seen him, would you be able to be like, yo, you know what? This is not the place or time for that. Or... Oh, he never did nothing to me. Okay, he never did nothing to me. All he did was write smoking on Alpo on Instagram. Gotcha. Like. We all know he didn't have nothing to do with that. So it's like, clearly at this point, it's like, he claims he's the number one artist in New York, but posting stuff like that is like, you know? Yeah. Where's your head at, kid? You know? He, I think he got a death wish, because you heard that new song? He snitched on niggas in his new song. Took him out, niggas got him shot and shit. He shot a nigga in the face, all this other shit. Like, how is this niggas getting away with this? Cause all I said was in my song was I had fifty guns in the trunk and I got pulled over immediately and they threw a gun on me. Yeah. How the fuck is these niggas so good about this nigga got me shot and I shot this nigga in the face and niggas is home free? We don't see TJ going <coughs> going to court. <coughs> That's New Jersey. <coughs> Ain't no fucking self defense. Ain't no gun license. Ain't none of that in Jersey, nigga. So you, you shot the robber and you ain't locked up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, I don't think he's saying he shot the robber. He couldn't have said he shot the robber. Listen, listen, that, listen to the record. <laughs> listen to the record. Yo. You walk with a bulletproof vest on that nigga. Yeah, you sure they ain't shoot that nigga in his head? <laughs> no, yo, you know what's crazy? I was watching um a, a Tony Ayo interview and he was like, yo, he think it might have to go back to those times where rappers got to walk around with bulletproof vests and all that. What, what do you think about that? Bulletproof vests, bulletproof cars? You think it's? I think that I think that is safer for the rappers, especially the ones that got family and kids that they value. I think it's something that's very very necessary. I think the label should provide that. Yeah, with especially the drill rappers. Yeah, I think that should be in a contract, like bulletproof car, you know, yeah. bulletproof house, <laughs> you know? bulletproof microphone, you know, like <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, look at the stuff that's coming out of these people's mouth. Yeah. They better, they better suit up. <laughs> I got shot so many times, Pete. They better suit up. They think this shit is a game because they see me dancing around in a get shot video. <clears throat> so they be dancing like that because the nigga got shot and it's a video. Yeah. No. It's not a music video. <laughs> Cameras on the street corner. You're TV. <laughs> you know, man, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, if I'd have seen CJ, I probably laughed at him. He's a kid. Yeah. I ain't worried about no T. Who's worried about TJ? They, I would have took his change with no gun. <laughs> yo, yo, bro, come on. Yo, bro, a nigga could have just beat TJ up and took. You ain't see how niggas was dragging him down the stairs. But that was a long time. Beat me spaz on him, man. My drillies. Yeah. He was dragging his kid all down the stairs and shit. He wasn't even there when his man got killed. He didn't do nothing like. Now you, now you fighting niggas with guns. Like now you, you fifty now. He must have been on pills. He was on something when that shit happened. Cause he ain't tough like that. Everybody know that. He ain't tough to be fighting with no nigga with no gun. I don't know. I need to see what really happened. Yeah. Cause he talking about he did some exoskeleton Terminator shit. Like the nigga hit him up mad times and then he hit the nigga in the face and then just put me fake died and then he woke up in the hospital writing rhymes like nah nigga we ain't we don't believe that story. Mm -mm. I mean, no way. 
But but he, I don't feel, know that. I feel, but come on, Poe. I feel like most men are gonna defend themselves when when their back is against the wall. You don't have to be the toughest person in the world to defend yourself when the back your back is against the wall. You know. Well, explain to me why <coughs> little TJ is not in jail for defending himself. No, I don't think he shot. Back. I'm not exactly sure if he shot back. Allegedly was defending himself. Yeah. Uh, knowing a assailant yeah. was coming at him at rapid speed while reaching. Yeah. <laughs> and allegedly King Flock defended himself. Yeah. And he's in prison with no bail. But I don't think TJ Superman TJ said in his record, face shot. Ah, what he said? The goofy niggas from the from over there, where I used to be at and shit all the time. He said yeah. those niggas did it to him. Yeah, right. Them niggas don't never do shit. He know he lying. <laughs> he lying about the whole shit. He lied about them doing it because them niggas don't do shit like that. Those niggas jump niggas, bro. If he'd have got jumped. If they done beat his ass, he then yeah, he yeah, that's the but <laughs> nigga. How many times he got shot? Um, six times, seven, six or seven he times. Got back. Ooh. Nah, Paul, Paul, I, come on, Paul, 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 I don't think he's dead. <laughs> he <laughs> right. Nah, I don't he think right. he he's shot. I think he said. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, yeah, think right. said, I think he said <laughs> the people his friends didn't shoot back. His friends didn't do nothing but get caught with guns, from what I heard. Come on. So be his, oh, gun was in the hotel. his gun was in the hotel. He didn't have a gun on him. The nigga shot himself in the face. Trust me, because what is he doing? Oh. What is he doing home? Because he didn't do the shooting. Mr. Face Shot. He said that, not me. Go, go listen to the song. I'm going to listen to the song, but... Yeah, many men run up on me. Face Shot. I don't think he was face saying that. He wasn't saying that. Oh, I'm Superman. I got me. You know? Like, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> we ain't gonna like putting on that shit. Hell no. Mm -mm. no. I mean... We don't. I don't, I don't, I don't Nigga said murder. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's the song he should have did. That's the song I was going to do. I was going to jump in that little cypher between him and Don Q. And Don Q. In front and I was about to do the um, murder, I don't believe you, and this both of those bum ass niggas. But I sat that shit out, man. You see his block just disowned him? You said his, yeah, I, I seen that. I seen you seen that. that, right? Yo, bro, I asked the nigga from Slaughtery, yo, you from TJ Block? You know what he said to me? Yeah. Nigga, this my block. I'm from my block. I said, but oh, so I said, I'm going back no more. He, he said, posted that he went over there, though. Where? What he did? He drove fast? I think he took a picture or something like that, saying that he was oh, over like there. he was over there and he took a picture? Or like he took a picture of a sign and was like, yeah, I was over there. Yes, I believe that was. <laughs> yeah, he trolling. He can't go over there. Come on, bro. Not geeking on them niggas. They gonna geek on that nigga when they catch it. He better get off some church kid chains. He better do something. <laughs> he can't go back over there. Uh, he can't definitely can't hang it deal away. I don't know what he, what he gonna do. Do you think that? Do you feel like? Uh, oh, look, 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 look. Do you feel like a rapper? Do you feel like it means something for a rapper to be able to eat, go back to their neighborhood? Like, is that is that still something that? Makes you credible, or do you even need to have that? Yes. Let me tell you why. For little TJ, yes, because he is claiming to be the founder of Bronx Drill. Okay, he's self proclaiming, which we all know him crying on records is not drill. That crying he was doing, we <coughs> oh, shit. that crying music he was putting out, yeah, all that crying music that was not drill. That was not drill. That shit was just on Raps and Hustles. But that shit wasn't drill, brother. 
Yeah. What the fuck drill song he got? The songs he got with Pop Smoke ain't even considered drill. What is that? Nah, drill? that's drill. Symphony what was drill? drill? That's drill, man. Come on. What is that? Symphony drill? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That shit ain't no drill, nigga. Nah, you bugging. Come on, man. That's, that's drill. Not- Yo, bro, listen to me. Hold up. Oh, this week. What? 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 You said? You sent me the Addy. I came. Listen. No, 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 no. Come no, no, on, that's true. Look how you said. Look, send me the Addy. I came. That's not true. That's not true, bro. That's not true. You know it's true. What? Come on, CJ. You see me when I see you, nigga. You ain't even make a move. So how the fuck will you see me on screen? Oh, you gonna say that in a booth? You gonna that say that? Of course you gonna choose. Of course you gonna choose D thing. Of course. Oh, no, like, I'm saying D thing. I'm saying that's drill. What you mean this? What you mean that? That's drill. <laughs> Do you ever heard D thing say, "Oh, I'ma slide through DOA. I'ma shoot me as of the day." No. But is it no, not? I don't know he, even it's a good night. He's drilling. Let's go. Let's take a trip to the block. So let's spend on those niggas that this on my block. He's drilling. That is uh, true. You being biased, Poe. You being biased. Wow. My guys, I've been waiting for a long, long, long time. Oh, my God. And they kill me. Oh, my God. Please, baby. That's not drill. That's not drill. I'm, no, I'm not saying that. That's not drill. Even when he's on a drill song, I make a call on his wall. I don't want to sing, nigga. I don't want to sing, nigga. He's still singing. This is still... But, so you don't feel like... You don't feel like you don't feel like, <coughs> no. Like you could be a melodic on a drill record. You don't feel Listen like me, bro. I am the founder of Bronx Drill. I brought drill to New York. Period. Yeah. I was rapping before all these niggas: Brooklyn Drill, Staten Island Drill, whatever fucking drill you want to hear. Yeah. They ain't do it before me. I know drill when I hear it. You know what's drill music? Drill music is when I hear this record. It make me feel like I was with him when he did that shooting. Cause my ups get ugly. I can do like I see the sunny. Like you sound like you with him. Like y'all about to go to a nigga block. Okay, yeah. been both ways. Been through the, you sound like you're going through a block, Marvin, looking for the ops, and you're gonna score. That's what drill is. That shit that he's doing ain't never been drill, bro. That shit is drilling B. That shit is drilling B. <laughs> <laughs> Drill, nigga. That's not drill. That's not New York drill. <laughs> That's not Bronx drill. That's not Brooklyn drill. I don't care how many Brooklyn niggas dick he suck. That's not Brooklyn drill. Yeah. No. No. Uh-huh. No, it's not. It's not drill. A boogie with the hoodie is not drill. That's drill. No, 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 no. I wouldn't consider a boogie doing drill. That's I would the same shit. I don't know. I don't feel that way. I don't feel same that way. Shit. Hey, but you like- trying to be tough sometimes too. I put the thing in the uh, nigga, but it's still Dave's loaf. It's not true. <laughs> I feel like I, I get your point with Dave. I, 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 they doing the same shit. When they go in the booth, they're not saying, yeah, nigga, what's up? They saying, oh, please, Lord, stop the ops from spinning my block. They killed my friend, and I'm scared, so I moved on my block. That's what they're doing. They're not, this is what the jungle do. I couldn't even fuck with you. <laughs> so That's not drill, bro. Yeah, he say he from High Bridge in the song does not mean that that's drill. Drill is fucking D thing, nigga. T dot, nigga. Bando, nigga. That's drill, nigga. Everybody, like, everybody from RPT is drill. No one no, knows. No, come on. I just said Jiggy Man. You <laughs> know him. That's drill. Okay, okay, okay. For Portland, yeah. Uber Savage, yeah. That's drill. Yeah. Even with the baby voice. My son's still drilling. Yeah. I would be loving you ready. He ready. He ready to go do something. <laughs> he jacking his shit. He grabbing his nuts. Yeah. He got hundred gang members dancing in the background. A hundred orders ready to order if you show up to the video shoot. 
That's not a little TJ video. A little TJ video is in a Versace mansion with beautiful ladies and a nice outfit and a song to sing next to a piano. <laughs> That's not drill, brother. No, I'll say this. I'll say this. I wouldn't consider it. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't consider it. But I do feel like some of the joints he did with Pop. No, negative. Which one? I'm from New York, New York. Which one? New York. He's the girl on the song. I'm dead. Oh, how about um, how about the one he did uh, with Fabio and Fabio and K-Flop? Tell me some games to say he said. Um... I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. 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 <laughs> Fabio was harmonizing. Yeah. He was really singing. not in the mood right now. Hennessy got yeah. me. Right he ain't in the mood right now. He's crying. Listen. I mean, not in the mood right now. I know I get cool right now. I am going to stack my chest. I am going to get cool right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's crying, bro. He's not drilling. It's not drill. That don't make the niggas from the, from the S go grab their gun and go shoot at the ops. They don't yeah. listen to little TJ when they do that. Yeah. That's not the, what they pop in. No nigga, bro. Please bring a nigga up here, bro. Every drill rapper you interview from now on, right? Absolutely. Just do me a favor. Add this segment to all your interviews. <clears throat> Name one little TJ song you ever attempted, thought about, or fantasized doing the drill to. Yeah. Especially they all gonna look at you like, what? Little TJ song, fuck out of here. <laughs> he had the nerve to say he started Bronx Drill. That's like Ron Suno. He said he started Bronx Drill. Ah. Yeah, he been doing it for a while. What you think about that? Who gives a fuck what he been doing for a while? He ain't been drilling. Yeah. So you don't feel like you feel like somebody had to have been drilling to make a drill? Yes. Absolutely. How are you going to paint the picture of some shit you ain't never do? We not going to feel it. We don't like Ron Suno because of his drill songs. That's why we like Ron Suno. Let's keep let's let's put it up for debate. You like Ron Suno because of his drill songs, or you like Ron Suno because he's funny? I like Ron Suno because he's Ron Suno, but I do like Ron Suno's his uniqueness in his cadence and all that. He's actually talented. You're trying to tell me this, all right? Look. So you're trying to tell me this, right? His song that he blew up with, right? No so you trying to tell me you take that serious? Like that should make you want to do it. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. I'm, I'm just saying it. Who wanna talk like this one? Like swipe like bike. You trying to tell me that make you want to fight? That no. make you want to no. no. you know, spin? But I can't say that because I don't do those things whether I listen I to it. But even <laughs> though you probably don't, even a nigga who listened to 50 Cent, even if they never did a robbery, they felt like they wanted to do one. <laughs> when that coin dropped, right? When yes, that when you hit a coin, <laughs> you start looking around like, am I about to get booked? Yeah. I ain't never do a robbery, but I'm finna do one right now, nigga. Yeah. Because you listen to that. Gee, nigga, I started my whole game. I'm a soldier. So you don't, I, I don't know, man. The like, music like, don't make me, like, you see you in the face of the girls like, how? What about Muffy shot? That's drill. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Buffy? Yeah. African boy, but he still didn't do nothing. Yeah. I mean, nah, you that's bro, drill. I, I, I see that shit make you want to fight. If you YG and that shit come on in the club, it's lit. Yeah. If you OGs and that shit come on in the club, it's lit. Yeah. And if you're a fan of drill, period, when you hear that, bro, Seven, eight million people showed you that. That's real drill, bro. Okay, <laughs> Flock went viral because that's real drill. Be Love went viral because that's real drill. D thing and them went viral because that's real drill. They, well, they, drill drills when we believe you. Yeah. Rest in peace, RPG Duck, we believe them. Yeah. We believe you. 
Billionaire Black, we believe you. Little J, we believe you. J Main, we believe you. King Yellow, we believe you. That's why these names are relevant. Paparazzi yeah. Pope, we believe you. Certain yeah. niggas, niggas be like, I don't know about him. Yeah. No. N mind you, he don't got no jail friends, no group home friends. <laughs> he, he ain't never been in the system. I don't know how could you be a drug rapper. You never, you probably never even seen the nigga get shot. And not to say that this this kid, Ron Suno, <clears throat> never seen nobody get shot, because I don't know what he went through, but I can tell you this. I know where he's from. <clears throat> I spoke to the people who's from where he's from, and he told me, you know, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. His music, do I listen to Ron Suno? Do I know the vibes? Absolutely not. I don't. I watch Ron he's Suno. He's talented, bro. He's talented. No, I watch Ron Suno because he's talented. Look, he's a performer, like Sosa Geek. He's a performer. We don't care what Sosa Geek says. We just want to see him walk. We want to see him spin. We want to see him change his hair colors and do stupid shit. We want to see Sosa Geek. <sighs> We it's not about the music all the time, bro. It's about the show. It's about when that nigga come out. We know what to expect. Like when Smurda do the Spunny dance. Yeah. Those old people who was doing that dance while he was locked up, you think they cared about what he was saying? No, no. Hell no. Have you heard that song on the radio? That shit bleep every five seconds. So you can't really say you know the words. <laughs> Keep it 100, bro. Sometimes it's what a nigga bring to the stage more than what he's putting in his music. Throw, throw like a top five artist right now, out a random five artist. I'm gonna tell you what I like about them. Okay, uh, let's do let's do D Dang. Let's start with D Dang. D Dang got the look, yeah, he got the charisma, yeah, he got the swag, the dance moves. He got the bitches, and son is fire. He's an all American. Yeah, he just gotta stay out of trouble. Gotcha. All right. Well, how about Shy K? Jiggy man. All right, all right. So when you look at the Bronx, right? Yeah. Jardy of the Bronx looks like me, right? Braids. Yeah. Box braids. D thing twists. Right. Yeah. I mean, niggas, you see. With a with a with a um a goose a red goose or whatever color goose Jiggy Man had with a low cut like how many people want to be like Jiggy Man? Not a lot. A lot of people want to be like D thing. Yeah. No. So I feel like Jiggy Man has the talent. Jiggy Man has the moves. Cause get Jiggy from what I understand is his dance, right? So that's why he's the Jiggy Man, right? So. He has the talent. He has the moves, the stage appearance, right? Yeah. His image is nasty. Nobody don't want to be like him. Nobody wants to dress like him. You, you see niggas dressing up like K-Flock for Halloween. You see niggas dressing up like D-Thing for Halloween. How many Shy and K's you seen? He ain't really known for, like, you know, for a long time, people made jokes about how... Uh, Shy K was dressing, so I, I I get what you're saying. He just started. Nah, I mean, they made they made jokes about all of us. We all get an outfit that somebody declares a bad fit. Yeah. From me to D thing to Shy K to anybody, <sighs> every day we can't please millions of people. Somebody yeah. gonna find something they don't like about us. But Jiggy Man appearance, <sighs> Jiggy Man's aura, Jiggy Man. The only niggas that want to be like Jiggy Man is the niggas who be with Jiggy. Man. You can see ops that rap and look like D thing, and you can see niggas that's on their side that rap and look like D thing. Oh god. The whole youth of today looks like D thing. No. Niggas, oh, everybody, bro, everybody gets their hair done the same fucking way, bro. Ron but you Suno can say he you started it. Ron Suno say he started it, but everybody didn't follow Ron Suno. When niggas, when you come to the Bronx now. You, you, you tell a bitch, do your hair, she's gonna ask you, what you want? Pop smoke braids or the D things? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a hundred. 
Yo, you biased, bro. You biased, man. I'm keeping it 100. Yo, bro. All right, so look, right? Let go down the list of influential rappers. Look. Yeah. Girls like Glorilla, right? Yeah. They love Glorilla right now, right? Yeah. But how many girls actually change their look to look like Glorilla? Right now, I I, I haven't heard of anybody. I, but you see mad Cardi B lookalikes. City Girls, Cardi B. Uh, yeah, you, you, yeah. Nikki. I'm trying to tell you the difference. It's not, it doesn't take anything away from them. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you a star when they can make a doll of you and it's going to sell out. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna lie. D thing definitely is a star. I'm not gonna lie. I he's definitely a star. Tell D thing dolls, bro. The kids will buy. Facts, facts. I seen it with my own eyes. They love him. They really love him. Yeah. He's the heart of of Bronx drill. Like he's the heart. Like they're more heartfelt for him than any artist. So how you feel with K Flock? Then where would you put K Flock? K Flock. <coughs> K Flock and D thing is the same shit for two different sides. Okay. Because uh, everybody got the K-Flock braids. Everybody's screaming. Ah, nah, nah, nah. They're taking things from KK2. Yeah. I've actually seen niggas dressing up like K-Flock for Halloween. Yeah, that was crazy. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like they have the same influence. Yeah. I feel like they have the same influence. It's like, like, be love and WB to me. It's like the same thing. Like, I feel like they have the same influence. Like, they're not as big as their partner, yeah. But they're not too far behind, you know. Like, 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 like they, like everybody don't want to be like B Love, but B Love got his own lane. Like, I don't feel like nobody raps like B Love. That's a fact. I feel like B Love got his own style. I feel like K Flock is like D thing mixed with Jiggy Man. That's how I feel. Like, it's like Jiggy Man and D thing. But Shy K is different too. I don't really hear people sounding like Shy K though. Look, Jiggy Man started his flow for his block. The, his friends follow him. When you listen to PJ Glizzy, B Dot, all them, they all sound like Jiggy Man. Yeah. Every nigga coming up behind him sound like him. Hmm. So you damn sure right. But he don't got that. Niggas ain't trying to. You don't see niggas like, yeah, I'm going to wear the funny haircut like Jiggy Man. Because Jiggy Man had the same haircut. <sighs> like his hair never grew since we first seen him. Shooter get shot. <laughs> he got the same haircut. <laughs> Nobody follows that trend. Yeah. He had the same coat. But now he got a different, a bigger version of it now. Because he got a new goose. You seen it? Like he might be endorsed by goose now. Yo, come yo, Paul. Oh, Let's... for real, for real, for real. No, for real, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm not being the pole that you think I'm being right now, bro. <laughs> I'm just a little under the weather. No, so I'm actually smiling. You know, that's all it is. I'm under the weather. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but I, I see I see what you're saying. Yes, I do feel like yes, bro, think about it, bro. The star power. That's what we're looking for. We looking Let me for... ask you this. Why do you feel like to be like who? Yeah, like, why, why do you feel like this? This this is a good one. Why do you feel like because I love a lot of these uh rappers right now, a lot of these people mm -hmm. they're killing it right now. You got so many from young Devin, Lola, Kenzo B, Shawnee. Yeah, shout out to me. So, what do you feel like? I hate to say this, but what, what made Ice Spice just like skyrocket the way she did? And because she. <clears throat> All right, so look, right? What made Ice Spice blow past the rest of the girls? Yeah. You ain't see how many girls dressed up like Ice Spice following me? Oh, dear. It's her image. So you think... She's not saying nothing different than the rest of the girls. I think she is. No, she's not. All she's doing is admitting to being a smoochie. And the girls that's drilling acting like they're not a smooch. Yes, exactly. That's it. That's the only difference. But that's a big difference. They're all saying the same shit, though. Like, the same words. But look, look, look. That's the thing. I feel like that's the <laughs> Bless. That's I think that's what made her stand out a little bit because she. In the hairstyle. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her body and the fact that she bends over and does absolutely nothing, but everybody <laughs> thinks it's sexy. Like when she fake shake her little butt, like it ain't really moving. <laughs> it's not really doing nothing. It's just yeah. the hand over the <laughs> damn. It's the hand over the um over the little little her little um whatever you call that. And she a little girl. I don't want to speak on that, but yeah, no, I know. She hand over her little, you know, and she act like she shaking her shit, but she ain't really, you know, ain't really nothing happening back there. It's just the it's, it's it's the ratchetness, bro. It's the effort. It's like what, like yeah, nigga, what? I'm a smooch. Like what happened? It's the yeah. Cardi B effect. That's what I call it. Like, what 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 did you think when she when you heard that line? We both from the Bronx, so so I don't, so you know that we dirty. What you thought when you heard that line? Because we are. <laughs> we are. We are. Yeah. I'm half, all them half Bronx, bro. I'm a dirty motherfucker, son. <laughs> dirty motherfucker. Yeah. Dirty motherfucker. <laughs> Best thing for the project, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. You know, before we was talking about Cardi B, you know, into some serious stuff, like we all got the news like last week or the week before Takeoff um lost his life in Houston. You know, well, rest in peace, man. I said that. What did you think when you seen that? You know, what was you being somebody who actually was around him and all that? What was that like for you? It seemed, it was it hit me hard just like pop smoke. It's like damn, bro, you can get so successful and still die for nothing. Like, like I'm just tired of seeing that. Like I said earlier, I don't want nobody to die for no, no reason, right? But if if somebody has to go, like let it be for something. Like I feel like a lot we lost a lot of rappers for no reason. Like, like you know, like nigga ain't snitch on nobody, nigga ain't rape nobody, bro. Nigga ain't steal nothing from you, like. And they try to do you nothing, bro. Like, no, this is why I'm not like, bro. This is like, yeah. Is it, is it true that, I mean, I, I don't know if you know, like, is it true Offset and him wasn't really talking around that time? I don't know if they was talking, but I know, like, there was some type of friction, allegedly. Yeah. Um, nothing that been confirmed to me. You know, I ain't get no verbal confirmation of that, like, of any problems with them. Like, I just, you know, I seen what I seen on the internet. You know, I'm not going to call nobody and be like, hey, are y'all really beefing? Yeah. You know, like, that's, so, um, I, I just know that if they was, bro, it's like, it just makes it so much worse. Like, it makes it so much worse. Like, because, you know, like, it's kind of like, It's like, damn, bro, like, to for somebody to part ways from life at a time where it's alleged tension is, like, I actually feel like that's just, like, the worst time. Like, yeah. I feel like that's just not, not just like a good time. It's just not a good time. It's not a good time to ever die, but it's just not a good time. Definitely not right now. Okay, you don't make it right. Have you ever dealt with that, like, losing somebody that you... <laughs> and Judah. Judah. Y'all were um so Jupiter had uh, some other friends that he was cool with. Yeah. That I wasn't too fond of, right? Yeah. And my anger uh, of seeing one of my best friends thinking that it's cool to even associate with a nigga that you know I feel like I got beef with. It was very, very, it made me very, very mad. And it made me go harder with the beef. Like, it made me get on certain ass even more. Yeah. Just to see my big bro tell me, like, yo, bro, this is my man, bro. We doing music. We doing this and that together. You know, like, I don't got nothing to do with what you got going on with him. And I was just like, Bless you. like damn, bro, like, like on some shit like I right, like when he with you, he good. But if I see that nigga on my own, bro, like, you know what I mean? Do my business, you feel me? I was upset. I distanced myself from Judah for <laughs> quite a long time. And um, we came together for emergencies time to time, but like we wasn't cool to like the day before he passed away. 
Mm -hmm. Sin City. We met up in the hood, went to Sin City. He like, yo, bro, I don't got nobody else around me. I just want y'all around me. I'm sorry, bro. But no, like, I didn't want to just straight switch up on my man. You know, that's my man, too. You know what I'm saying? Put me in a bad position, bro, you know? And, like, I understand, bro, you know? Like, yeah, man, like, I got, I got this deal. For me, I'm with the Coke boys. We're going to be outside every day. I need y'all with me every day. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool, bro. Like, it's all right. We're going to be together every day. Okay. And at the same time, I'm starting to put few new records. Um, I, 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 I let a record label outside of Spain as Harlem. And um, I didn't even know that the next day we was going to go do a video in Connecticut. So I got up and... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got up and my manager was like, yo, we got to hurry up, bro. The Sprinter is downstairs. And I looked at my phone I'm like, damn, bro, I'm going to call, bro, and tell, bro, that I'm leaving. <coughs> After I just told, bro, I'm going to be there, whatever. So I fake like turned my phone off and went to Connecticut. And I didn't turn my shit back on until like the video was almost done. Okay. And then when I turned my phone on, Tate called me. <laughs> like, yo, what you doing? I'm like, oh I'm at um Foxwoods Casino. <laughs> I'm at Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut and shit. Yeah. You're like, you all right? I'm like, yeah, what's good? I'm shooting a video. You're like, oh, where are you from? I'm shooting a video? I'm like, yeah. He like, all right, man. Well, I don't mean to fuck up your mood, man, but you got in a coma. I'm like, what? What you mean? He like, yo, listen, bro. Listen, finish doing what you're doing, bro. I need you, you know what I'm saying? Focus on this music. I got the streets, bro. Because we had a conversation with Jutta that night after Sin City. Jutta had told me, like, if anything ever happens to him, to keep his name alive, like, in the music. Yeah. And so told say, like, keep his name alive in the streets. Yeah. Like, he was saying stuff like, he was seeing our brother Hamif, rest in peace. Like, he was seeing me, like, me keep telling him, come to him or something like that. He was drunk. I mean, Jutta was drunk. He was real spiritual. We all was, you know? Everybody was just, you know, drunk. Do and... you feel like in some way he kind of predicted his death? And like, I don't know if he predicted it, but, like, I feel like he... I feel like that's what he wanted to do, like, like, cause Hanif is really like his friend. Like, we his best friends, but like, Hanif is really his friend. Like, and Neef passed away from like an asthma attack or like a heart attack playing basketball in the Gauchos. Like, like, when I was locked up, so you just started drinking. He never drunk. He didn't smoke. He didn't do none of that. You just started drinking, smoking. Getting into fights, getting cut, getting locked up, all types of stuff he ain't never used to do. So, yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't know if he predicted it, but I know, like, if Neef kept telling him to come down, he was going to go. Yeah. So, like, if that's what happened while he was in the coma. He was alive, mad days, and then he just. Yeah. No, that's crazy. You know, rest in peace to Drew, though. Yeah, word. That's why I be saying, like, how dare you, bro? Like, 
how dare you speak down on bro? Like, like I don't know, bro. I got, I got, I got, I got a different type of like, I got a different type of like set of rules when it comes to family, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to family, like, like I just got a different way I handle things, bro. You know? Yeah. Like. As many times as I got interviewed, bro, and people asked me about Charlie, I could have hated on rock, you know? I could have, whatever. You know what I mean? Girls I came across, and I was, you know, I was trying to nail them, and they told me, yeah, they fuck with him. So I ain't gonna fuck my son better, fuck it. You know? Pass up on a girl, like. Shit like that, you know, like I did shot caller over, like in some in, a, in a, as a tribute, like you know, like I I thought he owned the record, so I'm like, all right, cool, like they gonna flag the record and all the revenue gonna go to rock. You feel me, like? So I did the song over, like for me. So when the nigga that coming in, bro, I don't care what he said about me, cause everybody know he lying about that, like. But it's just like. When you talk about Juta, bro, like my son wasn't perfect. Hell no, he wasn't perfect. I could I could sit there and tell you some shit that I went through with Juta that I ain't like. But to take the opportunity in your first interview to dwell strictly on the negative when it came to your brothers, it was like, like it was almost like he was waiting for a platform to, to do that. Like, I don't know, like. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like that was built up, like, because there's a lot of stuff that, you know, he was talking about that's, like, you know, over a decade, long ago. Like, get over it, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know what niggas did to you, bro, but get over it, bro. You calling niggas by their last names and saying this nigga's a rat, that nigga's a rat, but saying I'm a clown for exposing Oz paperwork, we too old for that, but you up here calling niggas by their last name and Insinuating niggas is telling and like, but you hanging with these same niggas that you're talking about. You was hanging with them all the way till you went to jail. You disrespecting David Toast, like David Toast didn't put that 1090 shit on his back. Like when you left them and came back with us, you understand what I'm saying, bro? It's like, it's like son just bitter. Son just bitter. I don't know what's up with boy, boy. Like. But when you get up here and speak on me, you gotta speak facts because I can prove everything. I can prove it all. Like you only knew me for a couple of months in your life. And you hung out with me after I got out of jail, you could count on one hand. Yeah. Then you went back to jail. The fuck do you know about me? You just learning about me just like everybody else. You learning about me. Yeah. Reading magazines and hearing stuff and seeing interviews, you learning about me. You don't know me, bro. Like that shit don't work out. You didn't see on live the other day. I was on live with Nino Brown from the show. Shout out to Nino. I was on live with Relly. I was on live with Say That. A couple of different dudes. My son Relly. My son Say That. You know what I'm saying? The lifters. You on live and it's like five different clowns who came up there and lied like they knew me and got caught lying, bro. Five different dudes back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I know you. I was in the building with you. You saw when you was in the building with me, 2014. You're lying, kid. You're lying. I wasn't in jail 2014. Niggas always getting on this internet lying on me because it's like, it's like cool to not like me. Like, you know, it's like people think like they get accepted to a certain crowd by acting like they got some type of problem with me. Like, you know? Yeah. If I say it, it's like the I hate poll committee. Like, it's some, it's some rich ass, miserable ass niggas that is so mad that I'm still able to do everything they're doing while not having nowhere near as much money as them. And all they do is get on the internet and talk down on me. Oh, I got fake Amiris. I got fake jewelry. I don't got this. I don't got that. I'm homeless. 
All of this, these rich niggas is yelling from the top of the castle down at the so-called peasant 24-7. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like somebody gave Rock a big sack of K2 and said, if he asked you about Poe, flame that nigga. Go viral, Rock. And he went viral, bro, because that nigga ain't telling not one thing truth, bro. I had a conversation with you off the air and told you I wanted to speak to him, right? That's all I said, bro. Yeah. That's all I said, Pete. Right. Right. Yo, there was anybody that's locked up that I didn't speak to, that I would want to speak to, is Rock. Yeah. Because I don't remember what me and him fell out over. Right? I ain't remember. It, <coughs> it took... <coughs> Yeah, it took for this shit to happen for me to start remembering like all the little sucker shit he was doing that was making me distance myself from him. Yeah. From my understanding, right? Um when I first first asked Rock, I think it was like 07, because me and Rock fake, I guess, had beef since like 06, right? So I asked Rock in 07 when I came back down from court. I seen him in court. What was it? 08. Could have been 08. 07 or 08. One of them. I was coming back and forth to court. And I seen Rock in the pens. And I asked Rock, yo, uh, yo, what the fuck is the problem with me and you and shit? He's like, yo, man, you was, tell, you was running around telling bitches we be sharing clothes. So I'm like, like, yo, bro. I'm going to keep it 100. One of my bitches caught you out there, bro. You had some shit on that I had on. She asked me about it. And I just kept it official. Like, what? That's my man. Like, if I see something he like, I'm going to wear his shit too. Like, you know, like, I ain't say it in a way, like, in a malicious way. Like, like we on some dirty nigga shit. We just be sharing clothes. Nah, I said it because we got caught. And at that point, it's like, what do you say? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. So he's like, yeah, man, I don't like that, that you even on the phone with another, with a girl and you, and you, and you worried about me. I'm like, I ain't worried about you. She asked about the situation and I gave her the, the truth. You mad at me because I told the truth? He's like, yeah, all right. All right, whatever. And it was regular after that, you know? So from my understanding, I thought we had a problem because when we was kids, I told some girls that we'd be sharing clothes. Apparently, yeah. he had his own problems with me that I didn't know about until you interviewed him. So, you know, you live and you learn, man. And yeah. got you, got you. You know, um, going back to the whole takeoff thing, have you ever? You, I'm not a nigga that really. I've 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 played dice games and shit like that, but I'm not too big on it. Like, yeah, I stopped doing that when I was little. Yeah, I get mad and I want to, I want to clap something too. Yeah, I be feeling the same way. That's why that's why I stay away from stuff like that that make me that mad, you know. So I stopped playing basketball. You feel me? I stay away from stuff like that that make me that mad. Like if I lose, you know. Yeah, nah, I feel you. I feel like dice games. I never seen a dice game that wasn't like intense, like. Like where there's people arguing, yelling, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? The shit just gets crazy. You feel me? Yeah, I, I don't I don't like that for them. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like that they was rolling dice, but I get it, you know. When I was on Total Cast, all the rappers used to roll dice together. Like it's something that is something that I've seen for years going on. Yeah. So I get it, you know. But, you know, after what happened with Duke the Jeweler, I would have thought, like, you know, and maybe they would have just took a break from that type of shit. But, you know, you can't tell a man, you can't tell a man how to live his life, man. I just wish they wasn't doing that, bro. I just wish, like, they just wasn't rolling dice that day, so. Yeah, no fact. That's nasty work. That shit is nasty work, bro. That shit is nasty, bro. That shit is so nasty, bro, like. Yeah, what what um you know 
uh again, like we said, rest in peace to to take off. But you know, um, Marquise, I know this is something I really wanted your perspective on. A couple of weeks ago, Marquise came out. I guess he had an interview with Choke No Joke, and they were talking about child support. The conversation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he was like, um, they, I guess they they came on a topic where I guess Fifty used to give. Twenty five thousand a month, yeah. Um, and then she went to court. I guess maybe out of spite, or maybe just to see if she could get more. I don't know. And they lowered it to sixty seven hundred. I yeah. mean, she got what he well, 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 right in the mouth. That's what they usually That's do. Crazy. I know. But he was saying, Marquise. It went viral because Marquise was basically saying sixty seven hundred dollars is not enough a month to support, you know, your child if you're fifty son. How do you feel about that? What the fuck are you trying to buy? I guess um what are you trying to buy when you're still getting allowance as a grown ass man? Like 50 67, whatever the fuck, honey. Yeah. You can flip that shit, nigga. You getting that every month? Yeah. Flip it. Fact. Don't be like, grateful. Take it. Well, take whatever that man give you, because a lot of niggas pops ain't give them shit. No, thanks. Take what that man is giving you, bro. You know you ain't good with that man. You know every other year you say something stupid that puts you back in the worst of the worst situations with him. Like, this is a pattern, bro. He does this all the time. Like, this is like the third time he did some derlic shit. Like, first he took a picture with the clown Supreme son. He took a picture with Floyd Mayweather. He took a picture with Trav. Like, come on, bro. You know what you be doing, bro. Yeah. Niggas know what's going on at six years old. Imagine a kid, 15, 16, telling you he ain't know he wasn't supposed to take a picture with these people at this time. So that's why 50 move with him like how he move with him. To have him even still kicking out and you're a grown-ass man, bro. I don't know if you go to college or what you doing, but niggas still kicking out, bro. Like, I think, I think. You take that shit. And do something with it, nigga. Invest in yourself. Yeah, I think he was talking about in the past. I doubt he's still getting that money now. That would be... No, bro. He's still getting that money, bro. Trust me. Because... Nah, he's too grown for that. I can't see him... I can't see him doing any type of living if he didn't get that money. Like, no disrespect, but like, what do we do? Like, what's his occupation? Oh, no. Because when I see him, he look like he's taken care of, you know, like designer, uh, you know, jewelry sometimes, whatever, you know, moving around. You feel me? Like, he look like he well taken care of to me, but like, I don't see no clothing line. I don't see no lash tech. I don't see no, no type of hustle coming from that man besides him going viral talking about his father. So it's like, he could, be into, he, he could be into real estate or investing somehow. So take that sixty seven hundred and invest in what you got going on, nigga. Who? How? How? Why would I complain for help I don't even deserve? I'm over eighteen already. That shit supposed to stop. Yeah. So I'm gonna complain over some shit that I don't even really deserve no more. Like I don't see that nigga go to school. I don't know if that nigga's in college. I ain't see nothing. Like I said, I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong, and the joke could be on me. But I'm going by from the outside looking in. What do that nigga do? Like, what's what's his occupation? What is he a comedian? Like, <laughs> go live with Queens Flip. Like, what what do you do? Like, I don't know. Do you think like, that what? he had a, this was a valid point? He said, "I can't just live anywhere. I'm Fifty Cent's son." Me either. <laughs> but I had to figure it out. Me either. Welcome to my world, my world, motherfucker. Where yeah, they no, mad at you because they said your father's a rat. Yeah. Welcome to my world. You know what's crazy that you say that? My boy, I just interviewed my boy. I just interviewed my boy, Felly Gats, and I asked him, and he was like, nigga, there's a lot of fa- there's a lot of niggas that's dealing with their father's beefs, and they don't get six, they don't get no money. You know what Bro, I'm I was just talking about to say. Bro, the most I was gonna get from my father beef was the money I was going to make for the King Arthur fight. 
that was gonna be a hundred and something thousand. I was gonna meet off a nigga not liking me because of him. That was gonna be the first check I ever got for that. Uh, so and, and that ain't happening. So it's like, you know, appreciate that shit, bro. A lot of niggas' fathers was around but wasn't around, just like yours. But at least he making sure you was getting something the whole time. Yeah. I can't think of one day that my pops called me and took my young with you need something. I don't remember that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or just blatantly, like just passing out money, like randomly. Nah, no, no. Yeah. Take that 60, whatever the fuck, honey, nigga, and smile, nigga, because it's some niggas outside that is getting shot at, cut, stabbed, jumped, everything, just like I did, because of the fuck, some shit they fallen and did, nigga. Yeah. And we could get nothing for it, but a jail case. Or a fucking injury. Do you, but but is that okay to live that way? You feel me? It's not a right to live. No way that's jeopardizing your life. But at the same token, it's like you one of the few kids who's actually benefiting from your dad. Yeah. Like you're benefiting from your dad. Like, what the fuck do you do? Clearly. Your, your household is being ran from your dad's money. Yeah. I'm like, damn, where did he want to live? He got to suck that shit up, bro. He got to suck that shit up. I think he was really just trying to get his attention, to be honest. Like, I think he's trolling his father. Like, I don't think he really wants the money. I don't think he really cares how much of the money it is. Like he said, or oh, I'll pay him that much to spend time with him. Like, he really just wants his attention. So, you know, on the flip side, it's like, you know, I get it. Could you I see yourself? Think, I, I still think he should have been fixed that shit with his pops. Like, yeah. Could you see yourself, um, like, ever being at war with your kid like that? Well, not, let me not say at war, but distant. <laughs> like, if, if... Yes. Would it ever get to that point? If, if, if it's going to cost me my freedom or my life, yeah, because I got more than one kid. And I can't throw it all the way over one kid. It's not fair to the rest of them. Gotcha. So me saying that now with multiple kids, opposed to him being 50's only son at that time, before 50 had other kids, bro, he had mad time before 50 got tired of him and just had another one. Yeah. He had mad time. Just, you know, letting the internet shit get to him. His mom's in his ear, internet in his ear. Crazy, crazy. I pulled kid up. Now he's trying. Now he begging the hang with his pops. See, took him for granted. I would have took the good with the bad, nigga, and accepted my pops how he was coming. Yeah, you you know what's the crazy thing? Like, a lot of us, same with me. Like a lot of us. Yo, bro, my my pops. I don't give a fuck how long you've been gone. The minute you would have pulled up. Yo, let's kick it. What up? Like, so it's That's just how I was. That's how I was when I first met him. I was trying to be with that nigga. I was trying to talk to that nigga. I wanted to talk to him. I wanted to understand some stuff. Yeah. I wanted to understand some shit, you know? I asked that nigga questions like, <laughs> like you asking me, nigga. Like, I was on the phone talking to that nigga about shit, just figuring out why he feels the way he feels and why he thinks the way he thinks. And, why he really did some of the stuff they said he did and like the answers was just shocking bro it's just shocking like i i'm gonna probably one day probably gonna do an interview and talk about all the information that he told me but right now i'm just i'm still mourning it's like i don't feel like doing that right now gotcha gotcha that's fair that's fair last question before we go you know um i know you had you had your um differences with use G's. I seen <laughs> oh my god, you took my chest shot. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I seen we all seen use G's kind of go at it with oh man. We seen him go at it with Say Drilly. You know, you gotta leave Say Drilly alone. When you see that, like you think he better move, he better. 
come down from his little high horse that he on right now. Yeah. See, his girlfriend bust his bubble, brought him back down. See, he was panicking on live every day for weeks. He yeah. couldn't let that girl go. He was still panicking. He's probably still panicking over the girl. <laughs> she had to bring him back to 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 his his reality and let him know, like, yo, boy, like, you ain't that, bro. You ain't that to be talking like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and shout to sis, where she? Yeah, you 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 have a relationship. You have a relationship with her, right? Like a friendship. Like. Hell, that's the key. Gee, she she been around before him. Like, bro, he that nigga is from Brooklyn, bro. That nigga is not even from where we from. Like, she was around before him. Like, yeah, you see how quick niggas switched on him for her, right? Yeah, she was around way before him. She was the one saving him when me and him was going at it. Uh, Get it? Yeah. I was gonna take it there with boy. And she was in my head like, yo, come on, big bro, you can't be doing that. You know what? You talk to the nigga, I spoke to the nigga. He got the proof that I'm not no rat, and he still don't like me. And I still don't like him, because you shouldn't say certain shit out your mouth. Like, you gotta stand on that, no matter what. All the little niggas gotta stand on that shit. All the little niggas. Every little nigga who came out of his mouth on the internet and said anything about me in a bad way or said they not jacking me or some stupid shit like that, bro, they have to stand on it. And when the world turns, the world turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it go, bro. It's the way it go, bro. That kid had an interview talking about something he don't know nothing about. Talking about a nigga he don't know. And you know, come on, bro. I was in the car with you before. You be panicking. You scared to drive through the ops. You be scared to death when you drive past Mitchell's or Jefferson, one of them blocks he ain't supposed to be on. That nigga used to be panicking in the car. The little bros know that too. They used to be there. They act they running behind him because he rapping, you know? They gonna stand on him because he rapping, you know. That's their little um a little 15 minutes of fame and shit, so they gonna dick ride him, you know. But when that shit is over, that shit is over, you know. You still gotta stand on all that shit you were saying though. You know what I'm saying? Even if your career don't pop the way you want it to, and you end up back in the hood, those songs are still gonna be public. Yeah. You know? So I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with that dude, man. I looked at that interview and I said, that nigga must have been taking shrooms or something. You talking about I can't come back to a block he not even from. He not from that block. <laughs> he living in another nigga house on that block. Yo. <laughs> living in his manager house. Mm. That nigga not from our haven. Not from my evening. He's from Brooklyn. Uh, He's, he lives somewhere. I ain't gonna put his Addy out there, but he lives somewhere up there, like you know, yeah, up in the eighties. That's where you know, like he lives. Like now he's staying at his manager career in the hood. That's why you always see him in the hood, like he cap, like he bought his mother a house and all that, like. He needs to be capping mad fake money in his videos. No, I don't think he would lie. To lie that you bought your mother a house is crazy. Come on. Where's the mother? Why he ain't living there then? Why he's still in the projects with all that jewelry and all his money? You see, <laughs> you see how white the money be. You know the pink, the pink faces and the blues, they don't look like that. So you know that, right? You know that's that's you know that's that um <laughs> That that prop that movie money. Nah, that's real money. That's real money. That's real money, bro. Come on, that's real money. Slow it down, brother man. Check it out. <laughs> His girlfriend told you he had fake money. She was there. Did you think that? Did you think that that relationship would end the way it did? No, I thought he was good. I thought that was in a good space. 
I, I left him alone for that reason. Like, you know? What caused all that? Do you know what caused all that? Or like... Huh? I know you say you have a, a friendship with her. She, she, that's sis. Do, do you know from her perspective what caused all that? No. I just know that he disrespected her in some type of way that she couldn't take it no more. You know? Like... A, a girl don't go from trying to get your life together and trying to save you to just straight shitting on you for no reason. Like something had to happen, you know. Something had to happen. Um, but I don't be in in nobody business like that, you know. I see whatever's on the internet, and you know I ain't called sis like yo, like what boy did type shit. Like sis got that, like she got tough skin. You feel me? And then even like that, it's not even what people think it is. It's just, you know, he's just not, he's slowly pushing himself back to Brooklyn. You say he's slowly pushing himself back to Brooklyn. He's going to push himself back to Brooklyn. Now, the issues kind of started with Say Drilly because of the whole, him doing that song with Tutu. Now they, they. He's Dick Rider. That's what Dick Riders do. Mind you, if you look at any Lee Drilly interview, he's heavy shopping out with UGs, right? Heavy promoting UGs. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. Put him on some songs that he wasn't supposed to be on. Niggas ain't even want him on them songs. It been funny shit with all them niggas way before y'all finding out. This is old. This animosity, this funny, funny vibes and funny movements and sneaky talking about each other and all that all that shit is not not new that shit is old shit you know yeah it just be niggas like me around that know how to mediate that shit like yo let's do this for this you know yeah but you know i'm not around them no more so whatever's gonna happen with them niggas is gonna happen i don't want nothing to do with it once you put my name and write in the same sentence or pussy or any of that type of shit in the same sentence, nigga. You gotta duck your taco. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you got going on, brother. You you gotta go chill out somewhere and go to rehabilitation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, let me let me say this. I I just I thought this was kind of crazy. The fact that I Damn, I don't know if you could, if if you could. I'm reading up on Reddit, right? Uh I had Lefty, I interviewed Lefty G's. Yes. That's my brother. Free Lefty G's. Word. Um, number one, he he also said like he doesn't understand why use G said what he said about you. Um he took Yeah, like it's, it's it's a no-brainer. Everybody knows that. Like I'm I'm comfortable with it. I was comfortable with it because at the end of the day. And little niggas is hot, and you know what? If you want to tell the police that I'm not in the game, I'm not mad at you, brother. Yeah, thank you, appreciate you. Well, but also, also with lefty, like, right? I ain't, I ain't gonna let you call me that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, look. So, I thought about this because I'm reading up, and I know Lefty G's is YG. Yes. Is that it? He doesn't really like drillies for whatever reason. Okay. Was it create? Was it kind of like? I guess I don't know if the word is ironic. That like it's like kind of going right back to the like history repeating itself, like to where drillies and YGs are kind of going at it now. Yes. So let me tell you, it it is kind of like history repeating itself because like. Lefty G's situation with whoever he got a situation with is a personal thing, right? They made it like a personal thing, you know? Like, niggas like me, <coughs> I take it like super personal, you know? Like, yeah. super personal, like, awesome. I'm riding with him type shit, like, whatever he wanted, you know? But some people took it personal in the sense, like, well, that don't got nothing to do with me, you know? So, you know, you got your side that, like, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stand on that side too because I attract the juries. 
You know, yeah. I jacked the jollies. He know I jacked the jollies. Just like he jacked DOA, and I know he jacks DOA. You no, know? yeah. We brothers at the end of the day. We don't let that shit come between us. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, man. He good over there, you know. He probably the only YG nigga that's good on DOA. <clears throat> Besides me. <laughs> I'm good anywhere I want to go. Little niggas can't tell me shit. I'm gonna go see one of y'all big sisters or y'all moms, whatever I want to do. Those niggas ain't stop doing nothing. You know? I ain't worried about none of that shit. Yo, bro, <laughs> you killing me, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh. oh man. I had beef my whole life, nigga. Fuck that. Fuck it. Let me, let me, some little kids tell me where I can't go. Yeah, right. Oh man. Yo, Po, I appreciate your time, man. I'ma drop this ASAP. When I say ASAP, like ASAP. I, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you, brother. Like, yo. You know, man, I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it was more shit that we ain't touch on. We could double back. We gonna like, like, like touch on everything. I want to touch on everything. I know a lot of the fans gonna be in the comments like, damn, yo, what about this? This person said, or what about that? That person said, we gonna get into everything. You know, we gonna start getting into everything. You know, the gloves is off now, Pete. You heard? Let's do it. Like, like. Like like I said, I said in the other one, and to everybody out there, me and Poe did do an interview before. I have it in the tuck. I will release it. I just wanted to do something real quick, put this out for y'all, and then I'll be putting out the other interview. Y'all going to love it. It's fucking seven hours. <laughs> um, but nah, man, I truly appreciate your time. It's always like... I love speaking to you. Um, I love your perspective on things. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, man, you always welcome on the platform. And to everybody out there, we're going to make this a consistent thing. And and whatever y'all want Poe and I to talk about, we're going to talk about. Burn. That's right. Pardon me, everybody, man. I got some fucking allergies, man. I don't know. I probably allergic to the weed. I don't know, man. But, you know, <laughs> politics on paparazzi, you know, you, you check it in. Films, man. You know what I'm saying? We here, man. Y'all gonna get used to seeing me. I'm, I'm gonna get more active. I'm gonna get a little bit more vocal for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Pardon my little um sneeze effect today, though. Don't even trip. Paparazzi Paul. Until next time, man. All right, tap in. <laughs>